Conducting a successful face-off consists of more than just dropping the puck and restarting play. Advanced level officials are responsible for overall management of the face-off to include making sure all players are on side, penalty times are on the clock, and your partner is in position and ready for the drop. Let's begin with the proper way to hold a puck. It is typical to have the puck firmly seated in your non-whistle hand, thumb on top of the puck, and your index finger along the side. The remainder of your finger should be positioned on the bottom of the puck to give it support. Typically, as the puck is dropped, a small spin can be given in order for it to sit flat on the ice and reduce the chances of it bouncing away. To start, officials must be ready before the rest of the players. Once the lines have changed, blow the whistle to begin the face-off. The puck should be dropped within five seconds of that whistle being blown. It's important to communicate with the players at the face-off, such as square up or stick on the ice. Sticks should be placed on the white half-moon portions of the face-off dot before the puck is dropped, as well as center skates should be behind the hash marks on either side of this dot. Face-offs should be quick but not hasty. Keeping management and standards for all of your face-offs within the game will pay off in the end. Once lines have changed, the official should check that their partner is in position, the correct number of players are on the ice, and if applicable, any and all penalties are on the board. Then blow the whistle. Now the line change procedure has ended and the face-off has begun. This means the difference between tossing out a center at the face-off or assessing a delay of game penalty for a late change during the line change procedure. At times, you may need to eject a center. This is done when there is stick-to-stick -stick contact with no purpose, body contact, players ignoring instructions, or a player or players encroaching on the face-off all before the puck is dropped. As the referee conducting the face-off, it is your responsibility to watch for and manage these situations each and every time. <whistles> to eject a center, simply communicate to them by verbally saying, Blue center, you're out, and give a simple arm extension to indicate the same. Moving backwards can help slightly if the center verbally disagrees with you in order to avoid a lengthy confrontation. Once removed, you may tell the new center quickly the reason for the removal, then blow the whistle and get the puck on the ice to start play. If there are face-off circles, players, except for the centers, should be outside of these circles and on sides. If there is contact or encroachment by players behind the referee conducting the face-off, it is the responsibility of the other referee at the blue line to blow the whistle and indicate which center is to be ejected. In higher level games, you may hold the benches in order to help manage the line changes and face-off. This is completed by the official who is not conducting the physical face-off. The line change begins at the stoppage of play. You should allow about five or so seconds for the visiting team to change its players. Watch their bench and coach. When they have changed or after about five seconds, place your arm up in the air to indicate no further changes. Then the home team will have about five seconds to change their players. At the end of those five seconds, place your hand down and assume your position. The referee conducting the face-off will blow the whistle and get the puck on the ice within five seconds. <laughs> 